Hi, my name is Brad Regeer. I am a customer service engineer for Textron Aviation, specializing in the Hawker 4000. Today I'm going to show you how to load your charts on the Hawker 4000. The first thing you will need to do is to pull the following circuit breakers. AC1 bus, which is circuit breaker number 5 on PDA1. AC2 bus, which is circuit breaker number 5 on PDA2. Drain heat, which is circuit breaker number 1 on PDA2. And standby pedostatic heat on circuit breaker panel 1. These are pulled to prevent the heat from coming on during software load. Also, select out the bay fan control in MCDU. You can find this by selecting CB, Electrical Menu, CB by Systems, ECS. And this is to prevent the bay fans from unnecessary wear. The next thing you will need to do is to connect the aircraft laptop. The coax cable connects either to the port on the pilot side next to the headset jacks or in the back of the aircraft next to the AC external power plug. The other end of the coax connects to the T on the data tap box. Make sure that the terminating resistor is on the T as well. Connect the CAT5 and USB cords to the data tap box and the other end of those cables to the airplane's laptop computer. Power up the laptop and insert the CD from INDS, the CD you burnt, or the USB flash drive from the software you downloaded from the INDS website. Start the remote terminal program on the laptop. When the CMC screen comes up, select Data Loader from the main menu. The menu will search for any available software to load onto the airplane. When the program says it is done, then you will select Full Load from the menu at the bottom of the page. The program will take you to a menu and you will need to find the chart file that you would like to load. If you use a CD, you will see the file under CD-ROM. If you use a USB flash drive, it will be in available drives under floppy drive. The chart file that you want to use starts with chart disk and ends with a rev A. Select the file using the green box and selecting enter. The file name will turn green and then click on select file on the bottom of the page. The computer will perform a configuration check. This tells you where the files will be uploaded and an expected time to load. After the configuration check is complete, click on Start Load. Do not disconnect the laptop or remove power from the plane or laptop while the software is loading. Also, do not perform other maintenance during this time. Unwanted results could occur. When you see loading sequence complete, surrounded by asterisks, then you know the loading is done. If you have any errors, you can select Retry. This will retry to load the software to the LRUs that have failed. If the retry does not work, you can try to reboot the laptop and airplane and target load the LRUs that failed. If this still does not work, you will need to target load the operational software to the failed LRUs and then retry to load the chart software. Once the software has loaded, you will need to verify it. To verify the charts, you will go to the MFD and the top right drop down menu and select SCMS. Verify that all the AFGS lines on pages 2, 3, 4, and 5 have a file name next to them. Note that not all the dates will be the same. Also, go to the MFD bottom menu named EFB and select charts. Verify that the effective database date is correct at the top of the page and the black dots are populated in the regions you have subscribed to.
If you have any questions, you can call us at 1-800-HAWKER2 or email us at hawker underscore 4000 underscore support at txtav.com. Thank you for your time and have a good day.